No class. Hello, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening, evening, everybody. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Good. A little tired, but, but fine. Tired, but fine. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. I can only imagine. Why, why are you tired? Because of work or something else? Yes, yes, I know a lot of work today. That's <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tough day at work, huh? Well, we're um, at the mor at the morning was a, a very heavy traffic oh. thing about the rain. Oh yes, it was raining this morning. That's yes. right. Yeah. It was a very heavy, well, actually it wasn't too, too heavy, but it was, yeah, it was raining quite a bit. Yeah. All right. You're, you're having your, your evening coffee, Ana Claudia? Yes. Do you see me? <laughs> yes. It's just completing my dinner in order to rest very well. <laughs> the coffee. Mm. Wow. And can, can like, uh, you don't have any problems going to sleep? After drinking coffee? No, I think my, my, my brain knows because when I drink coffee at night, I sleep very well. And if I drink coffee in the morning, I wake up. I think it's, we need to switch. Uh -huh. hmm. But no, I don't have any problem. I sleep very well. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, well, guys, welcome um, to today's class. And Ronald, as well as nos está ahí picando ahí. <laughs> okay. Also, he's sitting. Yes, yes, he's having also his, his supper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, guys, I'm glad to see you guys here today. Um, how are you guys doing today? Pretty good? Very well, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. Well, guys, um, today is the day we complete unit two and we complete the midterm. So before anything, I wanna know, how are you guys doing with your, with your platform? Just the error uh, that I mentioned in the, uh, 2.2, I guess, I don't remember. So I, I got it as with the mistake that is not recognizing the, the plural, but it's okay. But it's okay. Okay. All right, we'll take it as such. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. Um, well, what about the others? How are you doing with the platform? Tell me about it. Yeah. How are you doing with the platform? I'm okay too. You're okay too? Yeah. Okay. okay I'm already done. Okay. All right. Luis, how are you doing? I finished the meter. Ah, wonderful. I, mm -hmm. It's okay. I think I was late. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you, you have to uh, finish it today. Mm -hmm. So today is the deadline. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what about Wendy? How are you doing with the midterm? Yes, teacher, I finished my midterm. Okay. And you need to- Teacher. Uh-huh. Only uh, I have a question. Uh, we have a discussion in the platform. No. Um, I'm going to upload it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to upload it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about Claudia? How are you doing with the platform? No, Miss, I forgot, but I'm going to do after class. 
Okay, okay. Uh, you have not done anything from the, from the platform? Claudia, you have not done anything from the platform? On, only the mirror evaluation. The, which of the, which evaluation? The midterm or the yes, the, the mid the midterm. You you you've done the midterm. Okay. Okay. So you have what you have to finish then is unit two. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. Sounds good. Um, what about Juan Francisco? How are you doing with um, the with the midterm and um, the unit two? Yes, yes, teacher. I've already finished the midterm. You already finished the midterm? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, good, good, excellent. Um. And you finished the unit two? Juan Francisco, have you finished unit two or are you gonna finish it today? Yes, teacher. I finished the unit two. Okay, you finished uh, it? Yes. Excellent, perfect. Okay, Natalia, how about you? How are you doing? Uh, no, teacher, I don't have any problem with the platform okay okay all right uh irene are you there irene irene not here okay all right um andres how about you how are you doing with the with the platform Finish the midterm. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Okay. What about unit two? Uh, I finished it. Excellent. Did, okay. Did you, did you the attendance? No. Right now, I'm going to be doing that right now. Okay. I just I, wanted to I check. Okay. Yes. I just wanted to check um, how you guys were doing the platform first. Okay. 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 So let's pass the attendance. Or better said, take the attendance. Okay, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Andres? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Claudia? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Edgar? Edgar? No, okay. Uh, Irvin? Irvin? No. Hmm. Okay. Present oh. teacher. Good evening. Oh, you're Irvin. <laughs> no, good evening, teacher. Present. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, but I'm I'm still taking the attendance. Okay. But thank you. Thank you for letting us know that you're here. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Heidi. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Heidi. Um, and Irene? Okay, all right, welcome, Irene. Ivan? Ivan? No, okay. All right, what about uh, Jose Montes? No? And Jose Ayala? Present. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, now it's, now it's, we're great. Okay. Good. Josue. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. And jury. Jury not here. Okay. Luis. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Natalia. Hello, Natalia. Hello, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Present. Okay. I have some problems with the Zoom because I 
I learned in the actualization, but oh, okay. so right now I'm having the cell phone. Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. No problem. Wendy. Present. Okay. Well, welcome, Wendy and uh, Ronald. Ronald. Oh, he's disconnected. I guess he was there with us for a moment, a moment ago. Okay. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. All right. And Yvonne. Present. All right. Okay, guys. Um, all right. Good to see everybody is here. The majority of you guys are here. Um, so uh, what we're going to start with is, well, first of all, let's um, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. You guys see it? Mm. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, great. So as you can see, this is the midterm exam review and practice. So we're going to be basically practicing uh, information that we have seen up to now, as well as um, we're going to be um, practicing, well, basically reviewing anything for the midterm. So you guys are clear on it. There's no, um, there are no questions uh, so that you guys can all complete the, the midterm without any problems. So your facilitator, Jessica Guerrero, it's the intermediate two, it's class number 15. Okay, so let's start with this. Um, this is a, well, let's, let's, let's practice. Work in small groups after designing a 12, 10 to 12 question questionnaire to find out how the participants of a focus group perceive the product you've suggested in unit one, carry out the focus group questionnaire in your groups. So this is um, this is a continuation of what we saw yesterday. And I have written this part really important, write down your focus groups answers, okay? So don't just simply say, oh yeah, yeah, I remember. No, um, please write them down because you have to report and you will not be able to report correctly if you do not write down the answers, okay? All right, so is that clear for everybody what we're doing? So I'm going to put you back into the groups that you were in before, um, yesterday, and uh, we're gonna finish off those, um, those questionnaires. Uh, how long do you think, like being realistic, how long do you think that you will need? And please don't tell me an hour. Mm -hmm. What do you guys say? Uh-huh. I'm listening. In my group, teacher, we we finished. Your group is finished. Okay, great. But by the way, by the way, present teacher. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, we noticed that you were not there. Unfortunately, um, I I can only take attendance when I have the attendance open. Right now, I don't have it anymore open. But thank you for letting us know. That I, I do appreciate. Okay, um, so we're going to um, create the groups right now. So, so guys, tell me, while I'm creating the group, please tell me, what do you guys think? Um, how much time do you need? Maybe 15 minutes. 15 minutes? In our group, uh, Heidi was presenting, and I don't know if she, you didn't complete, right? No, I didn't. I'm still missing three questions. 
Uh -huh. And also, and I don't I, remember if Ivan, Ivan was uh, missing, but he's not here. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to put you guys back in your. In uh -huh. your um, so, so what do you guys think? 15 minutes? Is that okay? 10 minutes? How much time? Like being realistic, like that. Like I said, I want you guys to tell me, you know, an hour. Well, well, teacher, in our group, almost finished. Uh, I remember that, or maybe Luis and uh, Wendy or Yvonne correct me, but we finished. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, well, if you guys are finished, so what you can do is um, you can talk to your classmates and review the questions and maybe your your partners can give you um, feedback on how to make the questions better, right? So how to improve those questions, okay? All right, um, so, okay. So the focus group that you carried out yesterday, could you please tell me who is in your group? Ana Claudia, who were you with for the actual questionnaire? Yes, for the focus group. Mm -hmm. uh, I was working with uh, Andres, Heidi, Claudia, and Ivan. And Ivan, mm -hmm. I, Ivan is not here. Okay. All right. So, Ana Claudia, Andres, Claudia, and Heidi. Right? Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. Now, uh, how about Edgar? Who were you working with, Edgar? Um. Francisco. Sorry? With, yes, yes, you were working with Warner. Who else? Werner, uh, Juan Francisco. Yeah. Irene, sorry. Irene. And Irene. Irene. And Irene. So, Edgar, Irene, Juan Francisco, and Werner. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, uh, Jose, who were you working with? I was working with Josue, uh, Ronald, um, Erwin, and what else? Judy. And Judy, that's right. Okay, but they're not here. So it's just gonna be the three of you. So only yes. Jose, Jose, and Ronald. Okay, all right. Um, Luis, who were you working with? With um, Yvonne, Wendy, and Natalia. Perfect. Got it. Okay. All right. So I think everybody should have a group. Um, just give me a second. Okay, um, so, how, so what do we decide on? Uh, well, how, how many minutes should I give you? Ten minutes? Fifteen Ten. minutes? Ten minutes. Okay, Ivan is here, teacher. So you can, I'm sorry, Ivan, <laughs> but we need you to be part of the group. Okay, uh, who is Ivan with? Yes, with us, with group number one. Group number I one. guess we're number one. <laughs> I always be the number one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. All right, so let's open up groups for 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Okay.
but teacher is coming. Mm. Uh, Hi, Bang is not here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so guys, you are finished, right? Right. Yes, teacher. Yes. So what I want you to do in these 10 minutes is go over your questions. Um, remember your, like, remind your, your classmates of your questions and let your classmates tell you how you can improve the questions. Okay? So okay. Okay. use this time for that, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, I begin and I you want share to be the first. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I share the I I this this. You can see me? Not yet. Mm, not yet. Whoa. Okay. Coming soon. Right? Okay. Is... Okay. So, in our case, Yvonne and me um, create a, a, and with Ivan, create a, a questionnaire about the beauty salon and the service nails bar. And the first one is What's your favorite color for Luis, Lila, Lila, or Lila? Um, I think it's Lila. Uh, I <laughs> Lila. Uh -huh. Say lilac. Lilac. Ah, lilac. 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 This teacher, lilac. Creo que es al revés. Uh, yeah. It's L um L I L A C. Yes, L I L A C. Okay. For Luis Lale Lile <laughs> and Wendy French style. Uh, the second question the second question is choose three shapes that you like for your names and two choose square. Uh, well, both uh, shoes square. Do you prefer a permanent polish or a clip nails? Uh, Luis, <laughs> choose acrylic. I don't know if you know what is acrylic, but you choose acrylic. Yes, um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and Wendy, permanent, permanent, permanent polish. And the four is, do you prefer shapes of flowers? These shapes, um, Wendy flowers. How satisfied are you with the service? Both say very satisfied. According with your experience, what the best method to apply the product? Normal polish for both. And uh, what do you like the most of the product? The, the colors for this. And Wendy, the quality of the nails. And the eight is one, two. Claudia. Uh, she said uh, the. She has problem with the internet. Yes. Okay. If uh, shall we wait for her or will you start? Oh. Um, I think Ivan can start because the time like is running. Yeah. Okay. If that was the last question, you can ask her when she comes back, I guess. Hello, Moto. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can listen very well. Ah, she says sorry. Okay. Should I type the question, right? Yes, and, and at the same time, Ivan is preparing his presentation, his amazing presentation. Question <laughs> <laughs> Do you expect so much from me? But let me introduce my service. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Please uh -huh. don't don't judge me. It's a, a homework. <laughs> oh. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ivan knows his nails. Uh huh. Hey, show us your nails, <laughs> the real ones. <laughs> <laughs> He's even here. <laughs> well, well, um, uh, or my service is uh, in a beauty salon. Mm -hmm. um, and we can, we want to offer a new service from nails, all kind of nails, acrylic, natural, uh, polish, uh, decorate, sharpen, etc. And the one question is, what is your favorite color of polish? Ana Claudia? <gasps> For all of those you have. Eh... Yes, your favorite color. Oh, eh, let's say red. Okay. Uh, hi. I like the French tip. Ay, French are beautiful. Andres, uh, I would like uh, to hear Andres. <laughs> <laughs> Andres, your, your opinion is very important. <laughs> because the, uh, the nails of your girlfriend or, or uh -huh. wife. Uh, uh, you, well, you know, actually, don't, you know, don't feel bad, Andres. Um, in the other group, um, uh, Luis was the only boy. And, um, but he was like, yeah, you know, I prefer this. I prefer that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, que le pasó ahí, uh, Andrés? It's Ronnie. Está bien, quizá. Um, Claudia is with you, right? Yes. Yes. She has some problems in there. Oh, there she goes. Uh, continue when the second question or oh. wait for the guy? No, let's continue yes. because the time is... It's money. Time is money. Mm -hmm. money. Well, um, time uh, is really money. You know, I found that. I found yeah. that because of, today the Bitcoin was, ¿cómo se dirá? Fluctuar vos. ¿Cómo se dice? Teacher. ¿Cómo se dice fluctuar? In English, how do you say? In English, how, do we, how would you say fluctuar? Fluctuate. 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 Yeah. The, the $30 that the government gave us, it was 28 for an hour, the next hour, 29, 30.13 cents, and it was flu ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo dijo la Fluctuate. Fluctuating, right? Mm -hmm. Fluctuating. Yeah. Okay, every, girls. Every single, so time, time is money, it's, it's true. <laughs> okay. Um, what shape do you prefer in your nails? A square, round, um, in triangle shape? I prefer square. Square, me too. I like square too. <laughs> so, yeah, I wrote my last questions in the, in the, in the, in the chat. Sorry, I can listen. Can you repeat? Yes, uh, that I wrote the last question I had in the chat. The internet is bad. I can't understand. You can take a look to the chat. Look the chat. Watching el chat, please. One new forward. Yeah. We already finished the trick. And yeah. Ronald uh, oh. told us the uh, road that had a problem with the internet. Well, this We're is talking a very about. small focus group. Yeah, because Erwin <laughs> and Yuri. Yeah, imagine. Are not connected. Imagine this focus group, um, you know, oh, just one person answering. Okay. <laughs> um, who, is, who is in your group? Erwin, Erwin Yuri, and Ronald. Ronald. Okay, so um, Ronald, I'm, I'm bringing him back right now because he just came in. Andres, no, right? No. No. Okay. 
Hello, Ronald. Hello. Sorry, but I have a problem with my internet. It's okay. No worries. No worries. Um, can we see you? Yes, I, I, I can see you, but if I turn my camera. You can yeah. see me, but can we see you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Can we see you or no? Have, are you having problems with Yes. Me? Ah, there you go. Right now I can see. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, um, Jose, you finished your focus group. Josue, you finished your focus group. Ronald, yes. have you finished your focus group? Yes. yes. Three of you have finished. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay, um, I'm going to close the groups in about two minutes, okay? All right, so just, just hang in there, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. What? What do you mean? Um, are you guys finished? Yes, we are in my mouth. Okay, good, excellent. So, um, I'll see you guys in the main room in a few minutes. What do you like the most product? What? What do you like the most product? Ah, no entendí la pregunta como la redactaron. Eh, pero la idea es de, de, de product do you prefer in, in okay. is about the post. Hello, Moto. Guys, I just wanted to mention that you have about one minute left. Okay, okay. 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 Next. Uh, do you prefer shades or flowers in your nails or shaves. any decoration? For me, shades. Okay. Uh, I don't like any decoration yeah. in my nails. Chave. Any. Okay. Or Chave. any different color. Esa que te pone un color de una y todas las demás, eso no me gusta. No, pueden ser florcitas o cualquier decorado. Pero así como, como este ese que está ahí abajo, ese café está lindo. Ajá, como estas cafés que te estoy ofreciendo en este instante. Pero son... I like the way it looks, but I wouldn't use it. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> what is the level of satisfaction of or service in the scale, the one to five? Five. 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 Thanks. Claudia, can you hear me? Yes, I know, yes. Okay, I wrote my last questions in, in the chat, so would you please answer my last question? Okay. Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. I hope it will be good. No, she means that the answer should be just yes or not. Yes, it's a yes, no question. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, do you prefer natural nail or acrylic or? Natural for me. Natural. Uh, acrylic. Natural. Yeah, the acrylic, okay. Andres, you can, can you hear us? <laughs> Yes. Hey, for your girlfriend, what do you prefer? I, you send the question? Yes, in the chat. Remember that she went in and out, so maybe you can copy paste again, send to her. Okay. Because when you go in and out, those things are deleted. All right, tell her. Claudita, it's just uh, if you would buy a washable mask, yes or no.
Okay, all right. So we had enough time. We had enough time for asking the questions and all. Yes? Yep. Yep. Good. Were you surprised with your group's answers? Yes. Yes? Okay. I think that right. was funny. It was funny. Mm -hmm. It was funny or fun or both? No, funny. It was funny. Okay. All right. So you guys know the difference between fun and funny, right? Fun to, is to have fun. It's the noun, right? No. Mm. Please explain it. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Because the difference. Yeah, because you, you got to be careful um, how you use it. Otherwise, it sounds weird. Oh, fun. <laughs> so fun is one adjective. And uh -huh. another adjective is funny. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they are two separate adjectives. They are not the same thing. Okay. Now, fun means that you enjoy yourself. That, you're, that you, you find it pleasant and you like it. That's fun. Okay, is that clear? Yeah. So how yeah. would you, how would you say fun in English? Divertirse. No. Es. Divertido. Divertido. Ah, divertido. Good. So this is divertido. Ah, to, yeah. okay. To have fun. Okay. Yeah. And then funny is an adjective that tells the person that you that you a mate that something made you laugh. Mm -hmm. ah, ha ha ha. Gracias. Yeah. So for example, if you're going to go to the movie theater and you're gonna watch um you know a Adam Sandler movie. Okay. Are you is it going to be fun or funny? Funny, that was a funny, funny movie. Yeah, it's probably gonna be funny, right? Okay, now if you go to the movie theater and you watch um, The Fast and the Furious 29, you know, um, it, well, what's it gonna be? Fun or funny? That was fun. Fun. It's gonna be fun, right? It's not gonna be funny, right? Because The Fast and the Furious is not a funny movie. Right, but it, it can be a fun movie. Does that make sense? It's more subjective. Well, fun, when you say fun, is more a, it's like a, a subjective, not objective. But the fun is more the event or the situation of that, when you see some something or funny or, or, or something that you love for that. Um, okay, fun is something that you enjoy, mm -hmm. right? But it's personal. Well, mm -hmm. both. I mean, both are opinions, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. what is funny for me not is not necessarily funny for you, and what is fun for me is not necessarily funny for you, fun for you. So it's going to be something, you know. Yeah, it's it's not. Yeah, it, it's not something that we can say, you know this is how it is but um definitely um you know a movie like that was not usually a movie where you go to laugh right so it would be something that we would say that it's fun not funny does that make sense yeah so fun is in spanish divertido Divertido. And funny? Gracioso. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, chistoso. Chistoso. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer to use the word chistoso because I think it conveys more the meaning. Okay? So think about it. Just actually, literally, literally think about divertido y e chistoso. Right? So the Fast and Furious is not a funny movie. No es chistoso. It's a fun movie. 
a fun movie. Es un, una uh -huh. película divertida, pero no es una película chistosa. When you love for that. Sorry? Maybe you don't laugh laughing for a car race. <laughs> right. But, It's but, more option. But even if you love it, you're not going to go to laugh to that movie. No. Right? It's That's not what you're going to go and do at that movie. Yeah? Okay? Whereas if you go to an Adam Sandler movie, you're definitely going to go and laugh. Okay? Yeah? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Or in, a, in our focus group was funny. It was funny. It's funny. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Good. It was funny. Good. All right. So you guys all think it was a funny, uh, a funny activity, or it was a fun activity, or both. What do you guys think? What What did you think of the focus group? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What? Tell me about it. I liked it. I had fun. I like it too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. Okay, guys. Um, okay, so we are going to now move on to the next part. For the next part, because we are, um, we are reviewing the information we've seen so far, I am going to show you the PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. So we're going to do the following. Remember this topic? Yes? So verb agreement with complex subject review. Do you remember this topic? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. So what I'm going to get you to do is the following. We ha I have some sentences here uh, and we have 18 in total, 18, um, 18 exercises, let's say. And what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is to work in pairs and you're going to solve this, okay? Uh, but I need you guys to uh, remember the rules of the complex subject, right? First of all, complex subjects, what are complex subjects? What are complex subjects? Nobody remembers? No? Don't remember? Yes, teacher. What is, what is it? It's when you place on quantity uh, for that, oh, measure, mm -hmm. no. Uh, so quantity in the sentence or um, Mm -hmm. and, uh, when you we see the quantifier quantifier the, the 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 subjects that they're in the sentence i oh. have here it's composed of many parts i that come together but i don't have a real um, right very good, yeah. So basically with complex subjects, they are subjects that, yes, they're composed of many words. It's mm -hmm. not just one. And the reason why we, we, we put lots of words is because we want to be specific, okay? So the more words there are in a subject, the more specific it is. Um, and yes, we saw it, we saw specifically the complex subjects when they have, um, when they have, uh, what's it called, um, quantifiers, right? So that's what we have here. For example, here we have a number of my friends. So we have, notice a number. But then remember, there were also some, some exceptions. So you gotta be careful with that. And you have to decide if it's, for example, loves, 
or love, right? You're gonna decide, okay? So this is not in the book. So I suggest you guys take a picture. Okay. Yes, everybody is taking the picture? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to assign you guys into groups now. Or better said, pairs. I'm going to send you into pairs. Um, so just give me a moment. And I'm going to give you 15 minutes to do that. Okay. I want you really to analyze each one of them. Okay. So I want you to try to make as little mistakes as possible. Or better said, as few mistakes as possible. Okay. So really analyze it. Okay. Um, so hold on. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. I'm opening up the groups. Help is him. Um, oh. okay. I was I have to do something uh when you was giving the instruction. Can you explain me what we're going to do, please? Okay, sure. Uh, Wendy, did you get the instructions or no? Please repeat, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. So we are right now doing a review of the verb agreements with complex subjects. Do you guys remember we talked about complex subjects? Yes, complex subjects are the ones that, those subjects that are very long. And the mm -hmm. reason why they're long is because they're composed of many parts that make those parts specific. Okay, the better said, those parts make the subject more specific. So we are specifically looking at the, sub, the complex subjects that have quantifiers. Quantifiers like saying, you know, a few, a little, some, both, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I showed you this screen and I asked you guys to take a, a screenshot. Okay, so if you guys can do that. Okay. Teacher, and we use the 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 rules too. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to use okay. so you can take the screenshot. Mm -hmm. okay, let me know when you have taken the screenshot. I already did. Perfect. Okay. Did you as well, Wendy, take the screenshot? Because this yes, is not in the book. Yes. All right. So, um, so then what you're going to do is you're going to precisely do these activities where you're going to decide uh, looking at um, the complex subject, for example, in this one, a number of my friends, that's a complex subject. 
but because with the quantifier, we're looking at a number. But remember, there are some that also have, uh, they are like exceptions. So you have to look at those exceptions as well. Okay, so a number of my friends. Sounds good? Yeah, a number, uh, okay. So we have to just only uh, make a circle on the words that has the, uh, this is a underscore on, no, is this is a. The ones that are in, in italic. Yeah. So for example, a number of my friends loves or a number of my friends love. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which one? Yes. Loves or love? That's it. Mm. Sounds good? Okay. Yep. Okay, good. All right. So that's it. That's all you got to do. Okay. 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 Perfect, teacher. Thank you for the help. You're welcome. Go ahead and work on it. Okay. Do you have the screenshot, Wendy? Two, three, two. Yes. Bye. Okay. Perfect. Okay, the first one is a number of my friends. A number of my friends. Mm -hmm. First, we choose this part, the verb. Yeah. It's uh, like a third person or the or normal, normal form. Mm -hmm. And then the second part is the but neither my brother nor my sister owns or own. We have to choose the, the, the right answer in, in this part. Mm -hmm. On a bicycle at four o'clock, either my mother or father is or are that we choose in this part if is or are coming to pick me up in a car. Yes, okay. Um, the number two, I think, is Aum because he is he's plural. Mm -hmm. Because we are talking about my brother and my sister, my siblings. Okay. Uh -huh. And the next one. And the next um, is R. Because um, you are talking about my mother and my father. Hey. Do you agree? Uh, um, yes. Okay. Because uh, if we go, if we can change the subject. It could be they. Mm 